The fall of the monarchy is caused by the French Revolution that starts starts with the arranged marriage of Louis the Sixteenth of France, aged nineteen, and Marie Antoinette of Austria, aged fifteen, as a peace agreement of France and Austria. The two were very unprepared to be king and queen of France when Louis's grandfather died of smallpox. The king was very shy, childish, and was easy to persuade. He was unfit to be a king. One thing that supported this was that he gave his money to America to help fight against Great Britain as a way of revenge against Britain. The king's wife, the queen, was a gambler who enjoyed her days with plays and court gossip. She always wore a different dress at every time of day that were very expensive. She had her hair and makeup done with every dress change, spending tons of money. The main problem was this, was that they already had inherited debt from past wars and there were little crops. This combined with the spending of the king and queen made France bankrupt, throwing the economy further down the toilet. Besides the bad economy, the queen was hated by the country for not providing an heir to be the throne. Because the king had a disorder, making him unable to have <laughs> but after many years but after many years he had surgery to fix the disorder because of this they had four children but the queen was still hated by the people unlike the nice life of the rich the third estate was in hysteria the poor economy and lack of crops made the people mad they started killing and beating each other for food to live. But not everything was madness. The Age of Enlightenment was also taking place. The main idea of the Enlightenment was for people not to trust authority or what anyone else said and to think for themselves. With the letters bashing the king and queen, the king finally started to do things as king. But Instead of helping the poor, he raised taxes on them, with many unable <laughs> to pay and no further ability to tax the rich even more. The assemblies of the estate were called together after 700 years of being unneeded. The members of the first and second estate found the third estate to be very threatening to their way of life after only a few meetings. So the next time the third estate came to the assembly, they were locked out. With Maximilian and Nectar representative, the third estate made themselves the National Assembly and met in the tennis court nearby and created the tennis court oath and announces declaration of the rights of man and an absolute monarchy, allowing the people to make the laws now, but the monarchy is still not fully dead yet, till the death of the king and queen. The people start their attack on the monarch by storming the Bastille to get weapons and gunpowder to take over. Once everything was taken that was needed, the Bastille was destroyed, torn apart brick by brick by the people because to them the Bastille was a symbol of their torture and a place of terror. Knowing this, the king and queen took notice of the revolution and left the palace of Versailles to escape, but they were caught and forced to come back to Paris and stay. Later, their home in Paris was attacked by the angry women of the country because of the lack of food and rage toward the queen. They would have killed her if the royals didn't run from the oncoming mob led by three fisherwomen. The royals tried to leave France for Austria the home of the queen, but they were caught once again, and the people were outraged at the royals for trying to abandon their country. The people would only be satisfied with the death of the king and queen. So by the power of Maximilian, Louis XVI was killed by the guillotine, 
a weapon known as the National Razor to the people, and Marie Antoinette was separated from her children. About a year later, the only son of the king and queen died of child abuse by the family that cared for him while trying to make him forget he was ever royalty. And years later, Marie was killed by the guillotine herself, and the monarchy was never more. Yeah! <laughs>